Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial, we have learned about what is method overriding or how to override the base class methods in the derived class. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the overridden base class methods in the derived class. So I have the code from the last tutorial. You know, we had a class called person and uh, that class has a method called introduce and we have another class called student which is inheriting from the person class and in that student class also we have a method called introduce with the same signature as the one in the base class person and uh, and that's why you know when we create an object of this derived class and access the introduce method you know the method in this base class is hidden or it is overwritten so now how to access the overridden base class method in the derived class so if you want to access this introduce method from this class person in this main function then first we need to specify the object name which is anil and then the dot and then we need to use the class name which is person you know which is the base class so it's going to be person and then the scope resolution operator and then the method which is introduce so after that add the semicolon save this program build and run this and now you guys can see hi i am student and i'm awesome that's from this um, anil dot introduce you know the base class method is overridden there and then we have hi i am a person which is from this base class introduced method and we have accessed that by using the class name and then the scope resolution operator and the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is suppose you guys want to access this method in the derived class so here inside this introduce method you want to use the base class method introduce at that time what you guys can do is you guys can write the base class name which is person and then the scope resolution operator and then introduce and uh, and after that you know if i run this program now this introduce method of this derived class it's gonna print its own statements and then it's gonna call the base class introduce meta so just to demonstrate that i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna build and run this program and now you guys can see hi i am a student and i'm awesome that's the statement of this derived class introduce method and then it calls the base class method and that's why we get hi i am a person so this is it this is about a quick tutorial on how to access the overridden base class methods in the derived class thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next tutorial